On today's episode, we are going to take a look at four stocks that Kathy Wood bought this week. These are all going to be companies with over a $20 billion valuation. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like always, we're going to try to understand what they do, recent price movements, price targets, and just future growth for the company. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and make sure to stay tuned where I live stream here on YouTube Monday to Fridays. So let's get started. But before we begin, let's take a listen to today's sponsor. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through The Motley Fool Stock Advisor services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals stock advisors average stock picks have done amazing returns if growing your money is something you like to do more of this year you can visit fool.com slash jose naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the stock advisor is right for you thanks again to the motley fool and now on to today's video All right, so the first stock we're going to take a look at is Netflix. This is traded under the NASDAQ as ticker NFLX. It's currently sitting at $505. If we take a look at the 52-week spam, from its 52-week high, the stock is down about 13.7%. After reporting earnings, we see a big drop. And the current market cap right now is about $223 billion. Now let's take a quick look at why the stock price dropped. So they did great in revenue. They did great in earnings. But two things that investors and analysts were not super excited is, one, the amount of net addition to this quarter in subscribers was low. They were expecting somewhere about 6 million subscribers and they got somewhere around 4 million. The second reason is, Quarter two of 2021, which is going to be their earn next earnings, they don't expect much growth either. We can see it's going to be pretty much a flat line with about, I think, with 1 million subscriber growth only. This is probably going to be one of their lowest subscriber count growth. The main reason is obviously 2020 was a strong year for the company. We can see, look at that massive growth in subscribers for 2020. So Netflix is saying that it's pretty much a rubber band effect, right? We saw a lot of our earlier subscribers come in last year. So this year is probably going to be a slowdown right now. They don't expect much growth until about quarter four, quarter three, when they start releasing a lot of new content that people are going to be excited about. Now let's take a quick look at analyst forecast. Analysts believe this company will grow 13.9% its revenue for the next three or five years. So it's a nice growth stock, right? It is profitable. It is positive in cash flow from operations. If we take a look at the balance sheet, it's okay, right? It's a bit leveraged. It has $8.4 billion in cash, 15.3 in debt. But remember, they are profitable. Remember, they are positive in cash flow from operations. So it allows them to be a bit leveraged. If we take a look at analyst price targets, right now, 20, 33 are looking at the company. 24 give it a buy, 5 give it a hold, 4 give it a sold, giving it an average of a moderate buy. The 12 month price target is about $596. And this is an upside of about 18% from where the stock price is up today. So it seems analysts are still pretty, pretty bullish on the company. The second stock we're going to take a look at is Coinbase. This is traded under the NASDAQ as ticker COIN. It's currently sitting at $291. It is a recent IPO, right? From its 52-week high, the stock is down about 14.7%. So the stock is just continuing to see a downtrend. Right now, it has a market cap of about 58 billion dollars so one of the reasons the stock price is dropping right now is cryptocurrencies have been taking a nice hit recently when any assets tend to take a big hit usually you see lower volume transactions um so coinbase did mention in their most recent earnings if they were going to see like a bit of a, a crypto pullback um because they collect a good portion of their revenue through fees of transaction if those transactions begin to decrease they're gonna make less money obviously so so another reason why the stock price is down is insiders are selling at the moment right there was no lockout period and there have been some reporting services that are showing that these owners have sold a good portion a good portion of their equity but a coinbase representative did come out and mention that the sales that these insiders have done represent only a fraction of executive and insider ownership 
Um, so those are two main reasons the stock is down right now. If we take a look at future growth, this company is expected to grow its revenue 21.7% on average for the next three to five years. They are profitable. They are positive in cash flow from operations. But if we, even if we, even with all that, their balance sheet is super strong. They have about $1.1 billion in cash and about $271 million in debt. So balance sheet, they are pretty, pretty strong. The third company we are going to take a look at is Roblox. And this is the video game developer, right? So many people are big into Roblox right now. This is traded under the New York Stock Exchange as ticker RBLX. This is currently sitting at $71.78. From its 52-week high, the stock is down about 12.5% with a market cap of about $39.5 billion. So for those that don't know Roblox, I actually created an account just to see what it was about. So Roblox is you pretty much download the game and within that game, there's multiple games, right? You, there's so many people playing. These are some of the most popular games right now uh, of people playing at the moment. And you can see the numbers on some of their popular games right now. Three, almost 400K on this one, about 90K on this one, 60K on this one, 25K on this one, 555K on this one, 46. So the amount of people playing Roblox right now is insane. Also, if we take a look at the top apps on the United States, especially here on the iOS, Roblox tends to always be the number one in grossing. This is that they are making a lot of money transactions through the application. So Roblox has been doing amazing. Another cool thing about Roblox is they recently partnered up with Hasbro and Hasbro, they make a lot of great games, uh, a lot of toys, right? So one of the things is Hasbro has created like a Nerf blaster. With this Nerf blaster, if you purchase the physical blaster, you actually get a in-game code on roblox that you can kind of get that for your avatar i think this is at first this i thought this was really great news for hasbro the more i think about it the more i think it's also a great news for roblox because this is just the beginning imagine if artists begin to release music and if you buy their cds and you get maybe a headphone you might be get a shirt or, or a digital item that you can put on there on roblox same with any other clothing store imagine if some fancy clothing store works with roblox every time you buy a shirt from them you actually get the digital item on your avatar so i do believe this is the overall beginning of this metaverse that everybody is talking about for roblox so it seems pretty pretty bullish roblox right now unfortunately they're not profitable but they are positive in cash flow from operations you see the amount of money they're bringing in from grossing future growth analysts believe this company will grow its revenue 31.8 percent on average for the next three to five years this is a nice hyper growth stock if we take a look at their balance sheet it's amazing they have about 900 million dollars in cash and no debt to their name so great news for roblox if we take a look at analysts there's about five of them looking at the company all five give it a buy so this is a strong buy the average price is 80 dollars and 40 cents which gives it about a 15.1 percent increase from where the stock is up right now i do believe if this whole metaverse and things and other partnerships for them come out roblox can really be a big winner the final company we're going to take a look at is meituan this is a chinese company and it's right now it's a pretty interesting one right so this is traded under over the counter right now as ticker mpngy you can also probably find it as mpngyf right now uh the stock is sitting at about 80 dollars and from its 52 week high the stock is down a nice amount it is down about 30 percent 31 percent from its all-time 52 week high right now so first let's try to understand what meituan does meituan i do recommend if you want to learn about the company definitely check out this video on youtube is meituan introduction it pretty much tells you what the company does so they're more they're an application that does pretty much everything from food delivery if you want to pay for your restaurants if you want to find a restaurant if you want to find a hotel pay for the hotel if you want to find a flight pay for the flight any attractions locally pay for them and find them through the application if you want to rent a bike you know those electric bikes in the cities um if you want to be a food delivery person everything you want is in that app i think it's, it's a pretty strong i definitely recommend checking out this youtube video if you guys want to learn more about them other thing they are focusing a lot in like artificial intelligence mainly in the drone departments for delivery systems and in the automated autonomous car vehicles 
Um, so definitely check out the website. One thing I do want to say, right, because it is a Chinese stock, there is a lot of volatility. Another thing I didn't like is if you take a look, some of the recent news are pretty old. It seems like they haven't updated their English investors relations website which is a bit annoying if we take a look at future growth though the company is expected to see great growth 24 percent revenue for the next three to five years so it is a hyper growth stock right now it is profitable and it is positive in cash flow from operations if we take a look at its balance sheet it's also in a great place right now they have about they have strong amount of cash compared to debt about three times more cash than debt if we take a look at recent news the china delivery giant maituan raises about 10 billion dollars for drone and self-driving cars and this was on 420 so you can see they are really focusing on this market the company is also being backed by tencent and we all know that's a huge huge company as well all right so now my overall thoughts first let me just talk about the overall risk that each stock has right now right there are risks for every investment so first let's start off with netflix the main risk with netflix is that subscriber growth right i, I do believe they did mention second quarter is going to be pretty slow but the guidance after that is what's going to be really really important and if it doesn't look good I can't see why it won't look good, right? They're still expanding into new markets and stuff like that. But if it doesn't look good, the company can definitely, definitely continue to pull back. Next, we got Coinbase, right? So Coinbase, if crypto continues to fall, if insiders continue to sell, this stock can, can definitely continue to pull back as well, especially as competition might continue to come in into this crypto-based market. Next, we take a look at Roblox. Roblox, right? A lot of investors are super bullish in the metaverse concept. If this metaverse concept doesn't really take place, I could see it, right? I played a few other games and I can see why investors are super excited. But if that doesn't take place, again, the stock can pull back. The final one, Meituan, right? Meituan, major risk, Chinese market, right? With the overall government over there, you don't know what can happen. Um, but I do believe that's one of the biggest risks out there. Now, if let me put them in order. If I was to invest, I don't believe I have any of these in my portfolio. Nope, I don't have any of them in my portfolio. If I was to invest, I think my two favorite ones would actually be Roblox and MyTwan. These would probably be like a tier two stock. I mean, they I, I can see the future growth for both of them, right? And I do believe if they expand how they're trying to expand, their growth can be stronger than the other two. Next, next would probably be Netflix. Netflix, if it was to ever enter my portfolio, it probably would be a tier two stock as well. But it's one I wouldn't expect too, too much growth from it. And that's why I put Roblox and Mytuan before Netflix. The fourth one would be Coinbase. Coinbase is just a market I'm not too, too excited about. Overall, the type of money they are bringing is pretty cool, right? They are super profitable. But regardless, if I was to ever enter with Coinbase, with my current thoughts right now it would probably only be like a tier three stock so it'll be the lowest out of them so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode like always make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to subscribe and take care and see you next time